<clears throat> Hi, my name is Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So here we have a Desmotron tube, uh, the modern day replication of Tesla's Shadowgraph tube sent to us by one Griffin Brock, who we're going to see tomorrow. And it is attached to this coil and that is attached to the high tension output of this uh, early 1900s uh, diathermy unit and in here we have uh, the power selector here the main switch you turn on that's unplugged currently and then that is also the emergency stop power input there then we have a series of spark gaps here uh, this one is closed these one apparently are optimized for their distance they're very tight gap in between the tungsten feet on those spark gaps open open closed and very tightly open okay and we have a selection of detectors here we're going to try and map the emissions this is a radio code this is a radio scan and I've got the gamma plate on there and then when you have a GMC 320 here and uh, so and we're going to take these rays and expose various calibrated samples um, from spectrum techniques some beta mostly beta and gamma and uh, one alpha isotope and also some charcoal and see if uh, there is a change of uh, activity of those samples from what we've already determined <laughs> 